A man's best friend is the most loyal dog he has. Today's story would change your mind if you didn't think that before. When this German Shepherd dog started going to mass every day, it was very strange and kind of funny. He would sit in the same spot and look at the same thing for most of the service. He never barked and never caused trouble. He just had a very sad look. He came every day, but why? What did he have his eyes on? Could he be asking for help? The church priest decided to look at some security camera recordings and what he saw will blow your mind. Watch the video till the end if you want to know the answers to these questions. Before we start discussing in detail, please subscribe to our channel, Amazing Animal Stories, and also press the bell icon as well. Every day, mass is held in a small church in a small town near the Italian city of Brindisi. In many of Italy's small towns, mass is still held every day, and many people still go. But you don't usually see a dog at daily mass, or sit still while the service is going on until he quietly exits as soon as the door opens after service. Since the German Shepherd went to church every day for months, he has become a regular. His behaviour was very strange. Most of the time, service dogs are the only animals you'll see at these kind of events, but this dog was coming on its own, and each time he did, he looked very sad. Donata Panna, the priest at this church, says that the rest of the congregation doesn't mind the dog coming inside because he is so quiet and polite but they are starting to wonder what he sees. He sits in front of the altar and looks straight ahead. Some people around him are even starting to get a little scared because they think he might be able to see the dead. But Panna, who loved dogs and had just lost his own, could tell that this dog was very sad. He looked very familiar, but Panna couldn't remember where he had seen him before. The dog was obviously homeless. He was filthy and just a little bit skinny. Could he want a safe place to sleep and a place to stay? Did he want help? The priest couldn't get rid of the feeling that the dog needed help. He might have looked shaky, but he was sweet. The first thing to do would be to clean the boy up. One day, after mass, the priest asked for some help from teenagers. When it was time for the dog to leave, they bathed him and gave him a few treats. They were a bit worried about doing this, you never know how a dog will react to water, but this sweet boy let them wash and dry him and even seemed to enjoy the attention. After he took a bath, the priest and the kids fed him. He was a bit skinny, but Panna was sure that he had seen this dog before. He needed help figuring out where that was. For now, he put the mystery on hold to take care of the puppy. They had to check that he was in good health. He might be asking for help, but they haven't noticed his pain. He took the sweet German Shepherd to the vet in town. Even though they put him on a leash, the dog didn't seem to mind. He walked next to the priest all the way to the vet. The vet gave him a complete checkup, but nothing was wrong with him. They tried to find his owner, but he didn't have a microchip, so they couldn't. It was a dead end again. At least they took care of him, but would they ever find out why this dog came to mass every week or where he lived before becoming a church regular? Sad and a little bit defeated, as the priest and the dog walked back to the church, they passed some stores. A little boy came out and started petting the dog. Even more, he gave him a big hug and called him Tommy. Panna was surprised when the boy called the dog by this name, so she asked him why. The child said that it was his name and that he had known the dog for a long time, so he called it that. This was Tommy, one of the older women who lived in the area, Maria Locci's rescue dog. The priest finally thought of where he had seen the dog before. His owner always took him out for walks. He was a little thinner now, and when he first came to the church, he was very dirty, but now it was clear that it was Maria's beloved Tommy. Maria was a kind woman who loved rescuing animals, she had a few rescue dogs over the years, but Tommy was her favourite. She found him in the fields near her house when he was just a puppy. At the time, he was very sick, and everyone had just left him. She saved and nursed him back to health, even though she almost lost him a few times. Ultimately, he was a happy, healthy dog who went everywhere with her. Whenever she went into town, he went with her. He even went to church with her, 
but he had to wait outside until she came to find him. So why would he go inside right now? Why wasn't his best friend with him? The sad truth was that she had died a few months before. She didn't have any family in the area, and it looked like her most beloved pet had gone back to living on the streets, except when he came to mass every day to make sure no one missed Tommy. Pana went to the house where Maria had been staying first. It was on the edge of town, and it was clear that no one was there. The grass was long, and the weeds had taken over the flower beds that Maria always took such good care of. But as they got closer, Tommy got more and more excited. He ran to a hole in the fence and lay down on a dog bed on the porch. Even though no one cared for him anymore, it was clear that he thought of this place as home. Tommy didn't want to go with Panna when he wanted to leave. He knew he'd see the dog at mass, so, as usual, the priest left him alone. The priest had a good idea of what was happening, but needed to find out more. He returned to the church and ensured that Tommy had food, water, and even a blanket if he needed it. After that, he went to look at the security cameras. He watched some of the most recent footage and then went back in time to watch some from a few months ago. What he found out was completely insane. He started by watching the video of Maria's funeral. Tommy was following the funeral procession into the church. He moved slowly behind the casket, knowing that this was his last chance to say goodbye to the person he loved most. He went over to the casket and lay down next to it. He stayed there the whole time the funeral was going on. This is where he now lays down every day. Getting even further back in time, the priest saw Maria at mass every day. She would tell Tommy to stay outside, and then she would go inside and sit in her favourite spot. Tommy would stand at the door and watch Maria to make sure she was safe. Once he was sure she was okay, he would lay outside. But that wasn't so strange. What was weird was that Maria always sat in the same spot where Tommy was always looking. The good boy went back to the place where he said goodbye to his friend for the last time. He kept an eye on where she sat, hoping she would show up there one day. That is amazing and sad at the same time. He lost the person who meant everything to him. But his deep love and loyalty touched the hearts of everyone in town and they all made sure that Tommy would never be completely alone again. Tommy is the town dog, and everyone loves him, from the kids to the business owners. When he is around, they feed him and make sure he has a place to sleep. Everyone ensures he gets as much love and attention as possible. Tommy might not have the person he wants with him, but this community is ensured that he will never be alone again, just as Maria would have wanted. Do you think your dog would miss you this much if you were gone? Please let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below, and thanks for joining us for this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Amazing Animal Stories. Don't forget to press the bell icon for more heartwarming stories. Thanks for watching.